I have a kind of a twisted sense of humor and quite a dirty sense of humor. And like I, on the boys, they're just like, yes, more. Thank you. More, please. Like I can say whatever comes out of my face hole. And they're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. My name is Rachel Chateau and I am with pride.com. Susan, Colby, Valerie, I'm so excited to meet you all. And I'm so excited to chat with you today about this season. I love the show. And a big part of it is actually you guys, because I live for a villainous woman. <laughs> so, okay. Even though your characters do lean a little more villainous, um, I'm always delighted to see women behaving badly on screen because it still feels radical to me. My question for each of you is what is the most personally cathartic and the most personally challenging thing, elements of your character to portray on screen? And I'll start with you, Susan. Oh, wow. Hi. Uh, I think the most personally cathartic bits of Sage are the moments when she keeps information from people. Um, I have a tendency to just open my arms wide and share everything. <laughs> I've definitely had friends like roll their eyes at me and go, no. Um, so when when Sage is very intentional about when she chooses to share things, it's, it's giving me a sense of empowerment and timing and intention. I love that. And is there a part that's like especially challenging for you? Um, that, that part, um, I'm also pretty, I can be pretty gregarious and animated and sometimes uh, uh, Sage challenged me to go, go in a different direction, kind of, you know, bring it down and make movement really count. I love it. How about you, Colby? I'll start with the most challenging, like, yeah, I, I'm with Susan on that. Like, I'm constantly getting the note to, like, be more grounded, less broad comedy. And, like, for <laughs> for Ashley, like, a character that is so much fun to play and and has such a flamboyant uh, um, sense of style and, like, is dealing with such high stakes and high stress all the time, it's very easy for me to just kind of, like, fall deep into that um uh uh high drama high uh, comedy they go hand in hand sometimes um and so it's challenging i'm always like right Kripke, right yeah like more grounded less broad that was the first <laughs> note i ever got and i <laughs> actually and i still get that note so it's great great reminder um uh and the first part of the question was what i most cathartic like what is the part is there some part of you that you get to act out that maybe you don't get to do in life oh it, it actually is one big cathartic <laughs> character like I love playing her I get to just like what's so fun for me is that there's there's nothing I have a kind of a twisted sense of humor and quite a dirty sense of humor and like I, on the boys they're just like yes more thank you more please like I, I can say whatever comes out of my face hole and they're like yes <laughs> so I'm glad I'm happy with that it's very cathartic for me amazing and how about you Valerie you know it's funny the cathartic thing for me I think it, it's like the exact opposite I never get that note as firecracker <laughs> less broad more grounded um but uh because you know in my in my career I have done a lot of like genre and like other superhero and what I am um, comic book IPs. And uh, I am always the like grounded one, the human one, the moral compass, the straight one. And I'm like, it gets so boring. And um, this is the first time I've been able to just go and be like find edges I didn't know that I had. I've never gotten to be this like big in so many directions on camera before. So that's really fun and it's really freeing. And uh, also in terms of like the improv that we are um, really like encouraged and safe to do on camera is not something that I've had the opportunity to play in that way. So that's really cathartic. And, you know, in terms of what's challenging, it's, uh, you know, the reality is like, she's a hard character to carry in a number of ways at times. Like it, she gets, it, she, she gets heavy after, after like seven months of shooting, you know, she is representative of some of the worst um, parts of our culture and, you know, culture as it's emerging around the world. And then she's also like literally the embodiment of male gaze. I've never played a character that's so hyper- uh hyper feminine that hyper hyper sexualized which is like perfect for her because she weaponizes it like she's she should yeah. be that but oh my god I just wanted to <laughs> I kept saying by the end of the season I was like I just want to go be like a genderless gnome in the woods which I am <laughs> <laughs> um 
because it was just so much. Oh, I love it. Well, I will say each of you brought so much to this season and I have been enjoying watching you have the level of complexity and villainy and and also humanity that very rarely do we get to see women portray on screen. So thank you so much for an, another amazing season. I cannot wait for everyone to see it. They're going to be obsessed with you. Oh my God, Sister Sage, forget about it. <laughs>